This is the plaintiff, Nicholas Jerose. He says he sold 20 Ozzy Osbourne CDs to the defendant on eBay. And once he received them, he lodged a complaint claiming they weren't authentic. eBay sided with the defendant. He issued a refund through PayPal, and now the scammer won't return his CDs. He thinks this was a con job from the start, and wants his CDs returned, or their value of $158.30, the exact amount he's suing for. This is the defendant, Wayne. He says the plaintiff sent him bootleg copies of Ozzy Osbourne music, so he complained and was issued a refund. He promptly sent the bogus discs back to the plaintiff. He tracked the package, saw they were delivered, and has no idea what this clown's trying to pull today by suing him in court. He's accused of taking a shot in the dark. All parties, please hit your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff sold 20 Ozzy Osbourne CDs on eBay, but the defendant stopped payment, saying the CDs were bogus. But the defendant says the copies were bootlegged. It's the case of on the Sabbath, I sue. Thank you, Douglas. Nicholas Jaros, you are suing Wayne. You've asked us not to use your last name for $158.30 for CDs that he has and hasn't paid for because you gave him a refund and he was supposed to send them back. Talk to me. Yes. What kind of CDs? Um, so they were um, a whole collection of, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, or whether I lived under a rock all my life. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, his band from back in the 70s, Black Sabbath, um, yes. I yes. collected their How whole... old are you in the 70s? Um, I'm not born yet. Exactly. Yep. I was. I was a teenager in the 70s. Okay, okay. so go ahead. So you're familiar. Um, so in high school, I uh, went through, I really liked the band. I collected every CD um, they released, uh, side projects, solo bands, um, so this summer I was looking uh, to make a little extra cash, so I went on eBay selling some stuff. Um, when I came across my CD collection, I had a couple duplicate copies of, um, you know, the same material. So I had um, the whole uh, collection of um, their 10 albums from the 70s um, on a 1990 or 1980s press release. Um, so they were CDs that were published in the, the 1980s, late 80s, early 90s. Okay. Um, now, in 2004, they did a... Because the 70s, we listened to stuff on 8-track. Yep, 8-track right. So vinyl. what did you have? So Okay, so you had purchased them in the 80s of music from the well, 70s. I, had, I purchased them, you know, late 90s. Um, do you even know what an 8-track is? Yep. You do, because yep. you, you, you're, you're a music guy if you're collecting Ozzy Osbourne, bef yep. who was playing this stuff before you were born. All right, um, okay, so go on. So I had... Um, so you put it on eBay. Yeah. Uh, the ones you... You have some there, but those are not yeah. the ones that you sold. Correct. Okay. Um, Paul, I have to open it up and let me walk down memory lane. Yeah. Um, so I had, you know, um, the copies from the, the 90s, and then in 2002, they uh, did a remastering. So they made basically did a, with the newer technology that's available, they released uh, this. This is uh, the black box. Um, so it basically contains everything. Give me the black box. Right. <laughs> and so you, you sold on eBay what? Do you still have the advertising on eBay? Um, I do. Okay. Um, so I basically sold the, that, the 1990 version of um, all those um, CDs in there, plus a couple extra live shows. Um, just the pictures. Oh, look at him, all young and virile. <laughs> I'm sure he could say the same about me. <laughs> so you were selling how many CDs? 20? So there were 20 total. Um, there was 10 of the official uh, releases, basically their studio album catalog. Um, from the 70s, a uh, compilation album, a best of album that they released, I think, in 75, and then a live album that they released in 1980, um, as well as um, a whole bunch of demos, you know, um, recordings from later albums when they were in the studio, unofficial releases, some live recordings, you know, some from audience members in the, you know, attending the concert, recording them out of their pocket. Um, there was some that were, you know, through roadies or whatever, Okay, so your advertisement says for the diehard Ozzy Black Sabbath fan, albums, live shows, demos, and more. And then was there any correspondence between the two of you? Not until I got uh, the uh, best offer. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so titles. you sell it. Yep. He buys it. He goes to the, the option on eBay that says best offer. Yep. He doesn't want you to auction him off. He wants to make you an offer. You guys end up settling for how much? $150. Okay, and then you send him the $150 how? Through PayPal? 
PayPal, correct. All right, well, and then what? he sends you the, the, Your Honor, to be the exact. CDs, and what's the problem? Okay, the problem was, to start it off, I have the listing also, which is everything he said is true, but the issue with me is they're CDRs. He had eight or nine original Sabbath uh, CDs you can buy anywhere for four or five bucks, no big deal. I wanted the other stuff because you don't see that every day. Okay. okay. So then when you got it, yes. you said, wait, this isn't well, as advertised. No, this is CDRs. I can buy a CDR and get 10 of them for is five bucks. Is it true that they were, quote, CDRs? Because CDRs means somebody taped on it. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure as uh, to the distinction he's trying well, to make. Well, where'd you get them? I mean, I, CDRs I, are, isn't CDR, doesn't that mean that it's not, um, it's not mass produced by the record label? Correct. It's, Correct. Um, so all the extra stuff, uh, all the live shows except the, the one official one um, were unofficial. Um, so I got those on eBay, um, you know, uh, building my collection. All right, so anyway, you have the complaint and you file the complaint. You say, these aren't authentic. I don't That's want That's correct. Them. All right. And you end up being forced by eBay or you just don't want to fight anymore and you issue the return. Correct. Um, I'd like to clarify a few points um, that in the interim between that. So how reliable is it that you're going to get something authentic when you buy on eBay? I think it depends on what you're getting. I mean, can't... Well, I mean, anything that you're relying on it being authentic, how reliable is it to buy on eBay? It could be a 50-50 chance. 50-50. How do you protect yourself? I think you have to look at which person and which company you're buying from, and if they are... What if it's just, what if it's an individual and you don't know them? Oh, then, like she said, it's probably a 50-50 percent. That's not a good percentage to me, going inside the courtroom. He clicked accept offer, but it took over a week for me to get the payment. Um, you know, I'm waiting, you know, I think it was eight or nine days. And I'm, you know, at work checking my phone, you know, two, three times a day. I'm having dreams about, you know, when's this guy going to pay me? Um, Don't have and, dreams about it. <laughs> dreams. Yeah, um, so I finally get a payment after two emails. Okay, so Otherwise, you think he's just trying to get out of paying you? Yeah, yeah. You initially. think he took all that stuff, taped it onto his iTunes, and s sending all of it back? Yeah, yeah. All right, but in any event, we're kind of past that because what happens is you decide to give him the refund. Correct. So you give him the refund, and you've never seen the tapes back. Never got anything back. So I, I mean, the CD. As... So what happened? So can I just elaborate? A little no, bit? you cannot no, okay. answer my question. What happened? They because were sent eBay back to didn't him. eBay send you like a label and everything to mail the stuff back? I was on vacation. That's why it took me long to pay. Okay, it was with my I don't family. care. You guys okay. are getting stuck on stuff I don't care. Okay. The essence of this is eBay agreed with your complaint or he succumbed or whatever, whatever it is. He they relented. Did. And then next thing you know, eBay sends you a label, right? They, I could use it if I wanted to. I didn't have to use it. What did you do? I sent it back myself by first class mail. It was cheaper. Prove it. I don't have it with me, Your Honor. I have well, it. Well, then you're nailed. I have everything here. No, no. He planted You're, no, seeds. No, no, no. You he can't planted do it. seeds. Dude, you sent the stuff back in a method where it never got back to him. And you can't prove you sent it. You didn't send it. You chose a cheaper method. You didn't Correct. insure it. You didn't send it return receipt requested. You didn't use the label that eBay sent you. And the, e the label eBay sends you, they pay for postage, right? Sometimes they do, sometimes this they don't. This one they did. I don't, I can't verify What's that. the point of sending unless it's paying for postage. I just... So you chose, you say, <laughs> to use a different method, but you look terrible right now because it looks like you kept the refund and the CDs. That's what it's looking like right now. Okay. Prove to me you sent anything in any way. I can't prove that. And prove to me and explain to me why you would choose a different method than the free one. Because I had to return an LP. These are CDs. I returned an LP to a gentleman in California. The label was nine fifty to turn return a record where I could get it media mail for three twenty three. It's a big difference. Yeah. So for six bucks, let's see if I got this straight. For six bucks, you're gonna have to pay the guy the hundred and fifty eight thirty because you didn't bother to go ahead and include insurance on it and proof of mailing so that you could go to the US post office and say, hey, this got lost in the mail. You're and you could it. track it. That's where we are. I've done it so many times I've never had an issue. Well then you could just consider it a cost of doing business. Okay, one hundred and fifty-eight dollars and thirty cents. Verdict for the plaintiff. Okay. Thank you. So, the defendant has no proof. He loses the case, and the plaintiff wins. I'm intrigued. Why? Why you never did say why you didn't use that free? It was not free, sir. No, well, she it says was, it was. It she was. has a copy of they, it. Apparently. I think it was seven oh five or seven fifty. Well, back. you learned the hard way. Do you do this a lot? I do. 
I've been on eBay for five years. What is it about Ozzy Osbourne records that you so like? It was Black Sabbath was not Ozzy Osbourne. Well, I mean, he was in the yeah, correct. band, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. But the thing is, are these discs that you got from him, is there a big difference in listening to them and the yes. quality of the music? Well, the quality isn't that good because they're on CDRs, but they're live concerts, they're demos that you just can't buy anywhere. Okay. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. You must sign some documents outside. Here comes the plaintiff. Mr. Jarose, you satisfied now? I am very satisfied. Okay. Um, it's not hard to get a receipt from the post office. I have one right here sure for isn't. I know. mailing the court documents. Okay, very good. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very have much. Appreciate it. Okay. Harvey? You know, everybody kind of talks about this and nobody does it, but it's important to do. If you're buying expensive stuff that has to go through the mail, it is really important to buy insurance for it. It's not that expensive and it protects you a lot.